ஹலோ டு எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் மிஸ்ஸஸ் என் உமா மகேஸ்வரி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இன் கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் விமேன் திருச்செங்கோடு இன் திஸ் வீடியோ லெட் அஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த நியூக்ளியர் அண்ட் எலமெண்ட்ரி பார்ட்டிகல் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் எ பிரான்ச் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் த டீல்ஸ் அபவுட் த ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் அண்ட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் நியூக்ளியர்ஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் எலமெண்ட்ரி பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் இஸ் நோன் அஸ் த நியூக்ளியர் அண்ட் எலமெண்ட்ரி பார்ட்டிகல் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் we all know that the nucleus is one of the subatomic particles and also it consists of a proton and neutron see this picture in this picture it shows the structure and length scales involved in study of the nucleus and elementary particles so like the electrons and the few other particles quarks may be the fundamental building blocks of the array lacking any further substructures but the story is not complete because quarks and electrons may have substructure smaller than details that are presently next let's see the model of the nuclear structure the precise nature of the forces acting in the nucleus is unknown hence nuclear models are resorted to for investigation and theoretical prediction of its properties such models may be based on extrinsic analogy between the properties of atomic nuclei and those of a liquid drop and the electron shell of an atom etc those corresponding models are first one is liquid drop model that accounts for examining the nuclear binding energy and nuclear masses the second one shell model which exists which accounts for the existence of stable isotopes energy states and their angular momentum at last the collective model includes the rotational and vibrational states of the nucleons next we see about the liquid drop model actually liquid drop model was first proposed by george gamow in 1927 and it was later developed by niels bohr and j a wheeler in 1936 The liquid drop model is considered to be a superior model than the other that which provides satisfactory explanation for many nuclear phenomena which other nuclear models cannot able to explain. Okay what are the basic assumptions assumed by Bohr and Wheeler for this LD model they assumed that the nucleus is spherical in stable state we know the nucleus is made up of proton and neutron and these proton and neutron are in kind compressible matter and the nuclear force is the strongest force in the nature that exist between the nucleons in is identical for all the combinations of protons and neutrons that this is the third assumption fourth assumption is the nuclear forces are saturates so these are the assumptions made by bohr and wheeler for explaining their liquid drop model Now let us look at the merits and demerits of the liquid drop model merits of the liquid drop model the liquid drop model helps to examine the macro properties of nucleus such as volume density binding energy nuclear force and disintegration of nuclei next it explains well about the radioactive phenomenon of artificial radioactivity and nuclear fission it can be also used to obtain an expression for the binding energy of the nucleus which was proposed by wisakar it is also known as the semi empirical mass formula for a nucleus of mass number a that contains z proton and n neutrons in this expression the first term is referred as a volume energy of a nucleus and in the second term is referred as a surface energy of a nucleus while the third term refers electrostatic repulsion between the each pair of proton in a nucleus fourth term reflects n is equal to z stability the last term is positive for even even nuclei and it's negative for odd odd nuclei and del is equal to 0 for an odd atomic number since binding energy can be described well for these nuclei without this term next demerits of the liquid drop it does not gives idea of magic number it does not explain micro properties such as measured spins and uh, magnetic moment of nuclei thank you for listening